So today I'm going to make honey mustard chicken thighs in the Instant Pot. I got this recipe online, I'll link it below, but I am adapting it for the Instant Pot. So if you like this kind of recipes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get cooking. We have about two pounds, maybe one and a half pounds here of chicken thighs. I have boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm gonna cut off some of the fat once I open up the bag. I have salt, pepper, oregano, olive oil, honey, and Dijon mustard. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the Instant Pot on saute, and I tossed in about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. I'm gonna let that heat up, and I'm gonna just sear the thighs just for a couple minutes. You can omit this step, but it does help with flavoring. So in a small bowl, I am going to mix about a quarter cup of Dijon mustard, as well as a quarter cup of honey, I'm gonna do a little less than a quarter because I do have um, less than two pounds, which the recipe recommends two pounds. A half a teaspoon of oregano and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Here I have my chicken thighs just browning a little bit. So I'll just mix this all up while that's finishing browning. So if you add just this to the Instant Pot, you will get a bird notice. So what I'm gonna do is the pot and pot method because I don't wanna throw the ratio off by adding liquid to this. I'm gonna pull out my chicken thighs and pop them in to this small pot that I have. I'll link below where I got these. They're just from Amazon. There's two of them that you can mess together and they come with lids as well as like a rack that you can pull it out with. Even though I'm doing pot and pot, I'm gonna to have to deglaze the bottom here. This will start burning. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water in to loosen some of this up off the bottom. So I have it on saute with just some water and I'm gonna scrape the bottom, making sure all of you know the bits here are off of the bottom. And if you skip the saute portion of it, um, you won't have to deal with this, but I do think it does benefit the dish by sauteing it a little bit or you can do it on a pan you know ahead of time if you if you prefer to do that so I'm just going to pour my honey mustard mixture over this until it's well coated okay so I have kind of tossed the chicken in the sauce I have a cup of water down at the deglazed bottom of the pot with my trivet in there and then I will just set this inside so I pop the lid on it's on the ceiling and I'm going to do turn off the saute we'll do manual make sure it's on high pressure and I'm going to do 12 minutes and then we'll do about 10 minutes of a natural pressure release after this is done what do you got there honey You want a Nana for you and Jade? Got it? Sure, thank you. Good, good helping. Nana, 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 Nana. Okay, let's get a Nana. Okay. So I'm happy to report it only took about two minutes to come to pressure because it was on saute mode, it was already all warmed up. I am maybe regretting doing 12 minutes, like thinking more like eight to 10, but since I'm doing pot and pot, I was thinking that maybe it needed more. So we will see. I might only do a couple minutes of natural release just so it doesn't get overcooked. But I will uh, make sure to clue you guys in and change the recipe as needed. I'm going to let the pressure out. There's not that much left. So hopefully it isn't too overdone. We shall see. So I'm just gonna pull one out and use my meat thermometer here to check the temperature. I'm really pretty positive they're done, but it doesn't hurt to check. Yep, definitely done. So it could probably do with less time. It was quickly reaching 200, but it doesn't seem dry or anything. So you, if you like your meat, you know, well done, you can do the 12 but you can experiment with eight or 10 minutes here. Nice and glistening and looks delicious. So here is the final product. We are pairing the honey mustard chicken with some couscous 
and some steamed broccoli 